Do you like <laughs> it? Is it good? <gasps> Yay! Baby likes it! Woo! Awesome! Hello, my Parrot Playhouse peeps. My name is April Adcock, and today we're gonna make something super healthy and yummy for your parrots. But first, we have to go shopping. So I'm sitting outside Trader Joe's and Ralph's. I'm gonna get those ingredients, and then we're gonna race home, and we're going to make something so good for your parrots. It is gonna be so easy. You're gonna love it. Your parrots are gonna love it. Everybody is going to think it is fantastic. So let's get in there. Let's do some shopping. Got my coffee. We are ready to begin. Okay, so we're gonna pick a spaghetti squash. This is going to be the main ingredient. We are in the kitchen, so it is time to get to work. We're going to cook. Here are some of the ingredients we're going to be using in our squash, I don't know what I'm gonna call it, veggie Christine Chop Shop Heaven. I don't know, that sounds pretty good, right? But it's gonna be easy, it's gonna be nutritious, and even if you do not have this fantastic product, I will put the link below because you should get it. I'm gonna also have alternatives that you can also use as well. So first, we are gonna put holes in our squash. We're gonna microwave it. You can bake it, whatever you want. Some people say if you microwave it, it gets rid of some of the nutrition. This video is on keeping it easy, simple, quick for all those working moms and dads out there that do not want to feed their parrots fast food. Don't, don't feed your parrots fast food, but want to feed them something super healthy, nutritious. We're going to keep it super easy. So do whatever you want with the squash. We're microwaving it. But so this is some of the examples that she has uh, for Christine's Chop Shop that you can season uh, their food with, their wet food. And so we're gonna do nuts and spice because I think it goes really well with spaghetti squash. And then she also has Soak and Serve Chop. Um, she has Mega Blend. So we're gonna do me Mega Blend because I wanna really hit them with vitamin A, vitamin C, amazing for birds that have a low immune system, if you do not have this, you can substitute uh, with a bell pepper and a carrot in it. So that's pretty much what's in there, plus all kinds of amazing things. And then we're gonna also add a little bit of the sprouted blend, all kinds of amazing sprouts in here. So we're gonna do that. Another thing you can use is if you don't have that, which I recommend you get it, uh, you can use chia seeds, you know, healthy, healthy seeds in it as well. So that's, this is what we're gonna use. Okay, so then we're also gonna add a little bit of organic peas into it and a little bit of organic corn to make it super exciting for your peeps. You know, so you can use fresh, but once again, this is gonna be a really easy recipe, so I'm keeping it simple. And then organic broccoli. So as you can see, this is a pretty healthy meal and you can make a lot and you can freeze it after, of course, it cools in a nice sealed container. So let's get to work. Enough of me talking. I just wanna get to cooking. Okay, hi guys. All right, so we're ready to get to work. So first, you're gonna need a knife for all you kids watching this. Let your parents do this part because knives are sharp and they're dangerous. So here we go. So always use caution when you're using a knife. So I have my yellow squash here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna poke holes. So make sure, it's kind of hard to get it in there. So make sure you move your hand. You don't wanna get cut. This is a, it's a, it's a very, um, it's a hard squash to get into, but you know, just be careful you guys. Okay, so we're putting holes because we're gonna put it in the microwave to cook for our carrots. It's that simple. I'm just poking holes. I'm not gonna add anything on it. I know some people like to add a little bit of coconut oil, you know, whatever. But at the end of the day, it's still fat. And if we can avoid it, I'm gonna avoid it because I have a fat Amazon. Now, we're gonna stick it in the microwave. Every squash is different and every squash 
weighs a different amount. So we're going to start out with six minutes and then we're gonna flip it. We're gonna do another six minutes and if it's not squishy, we're just gonna keep going. So you wanna microwave it or put it in the oven till it's squishy. Once it squishes, it's ready. Okay, there's our squash. I put a paper towel at the bottom because it, the juices kind of run. So use a paper towel, plate, whatever you want, and it's ready to go. Okay, so now we've got our little squash microwaving. We're going to add some of Christine's Chop Shop Mega A Blend. So for those birdies that have a low immune system or stress, or if you're traveling, this is what you want to use. So it's equal parts, so parts of Christine's amazing Mega A blend, and then equal parts of hot water. Make sure your birdies are nowhere near the kitchen when this goes down. And then she also has this awesome soak and serve chop that is full of all kinds of amazing veggies, but we're not gonna use that today. I have another video so you can check that out. So we're gonna put some hot water in it. Okay, so we have hot water in it. I love this because it's so much fun because it just expands once that hot water hits it. And the birds are going to be in heaven as you can hear them outside because they know something good is happening. Right, baby? Woo! Woo! They love to eat. Okay, so that's going to soak. I like to soak it. You can soak it for two minutes, three minutes, five minutes. The longer you soak, the bigger it gets. Now it's time to put our chopper to work. This little gadget has literally changed my life. It has given me so much more time. So I love it. It's a ninja. I got it for like 20 bucks. Yes, $20. Oh my God. So we're gonna use that and then I'm gonna use our organic broccoli. I rinsed it. It's very important to rinse all your produce, you guys, because there are scary things that can lurk in it for your birds and you and make you very sick, causing a humongous vet bill. Okay, which you want to avoid. Okay, so we're gonna put that in there. This one you can't overload. I should have probably bought a bigger one, but whatever, it works so fast and it keeps me away from that knife, which means my fingers are probably gonna last longer. Okay, so let's see if it likes this amount. Baby, we're about to use the chopper, boo-boo. Woo! He loves the sound of the chopper. Okay, so I have too much in there. I got greedy. gonna know what they're putting into their beaks. Now we're gonna add a little bit of frozen organic corn. You could add fresh, do whatever you want. This video is keeping it easy for all those working mom and dads out there. Okay, and all the working mom and dads that are still in junior high, elementary school, kindergarten. Oh. All right, so we're gonna add our peas. And our organic frozen peas. Like that. I like to make enough for three days. I have nine birds. So if I made more, I would freeze it. For those of you, those of you with just one peep, you can freeze it. Okay, so now as you see, Christine's chop is swelling up. So what I do, once it's in the hot water, I just kind of move it around and it swells up like one of those little sponges that are in capsules and you just kind of stick them in your bathtub and they swell up. So that's what's happening. And it smells so 
good for all of you peeps that do not have Christine's shop. Link will be below. Hint, hint, hint. Amazing. Um, you can also grind up, chop up, whatever you want to do. Bell peppers and carrots. Make sure they are clean. Make sure you peel your carrots and you can add it in there, giving your birds a vitamin A explosion. Okay, so another secret weapon that I love is quinoa. And you spell it Q-U-I-N-O-A. And many people have never heard of it, especially in different parts of the United States. So this is a grain, it is amazing. It is full of protein and calcium and it's good for your parents. So I'm cheating. I bought the Trader Joe's version where it's frozen. So I'm gonna microwave it, but you can buy it uh, dried and you can boil it. It takes about 12 to 15 minutes, depending on the brand, and you could cook it that way. But this is an easy recipe, so we're keeping it simple. So we're gonna microwave it. Okay, there is our squash, it's done. You want it squishy, so that feels really good as you see it kind of cracked. So it is ready to go. Now this squash, as you can see, is very squishy. Probably don't need to cook it that much, but I cooked mine that much. And so here we go. There are seeds inside and they are safe for your peeps to eat. Okay, so now you're gonna grab a knife and you're just gonna kinda slice through your spaghetti squash. And this is why it's called spaghetti squash because it looks like spaghetti, vegan spaghetti. I love spaghetti squash. This is something that you guys can eat as well. And yes, I eat Christine's Mega A. It's really good. And when I don't have Christine's Mega A, I'll eat it with the bell peppers, the carrots. It's so, so good. Okay, so our quinoa is cooked, it is ready to go, and I microwaved it. I'm such a lazy mom. No, I'm a working mom and I'm a busy mom. So now we're gonna stick our organic corn, organic peas, and organic broccoli in the microwave for about two to three minutes. We don't wanna overcook it, we just wanna soften it and make it so it's not cold because it's frozen, well most of it's frozen. Now our Christine's Chop Mega A Blend is ready to be served. So you can serve it by itself. You can serve a little quinoa mixed into it. It's, it's just amazing. And you can just serve it dry, sprinkle it on their dry food as well. So we're gonna add it to our squash. And so you can serve the squash in a couple of ways. You can totally empty out the squash into a bowl and mix it with your veggies and everything. Or you can serve it like this I like to serve it like this at first, but then they can't eat the entire squash. So I will actually put the rest of the squash separate and mix them together when I serve it because the squash, it doesn't last as long in the refrigerator mixed with the veggies. Now, if you were to freeze it, then you can mix it all together once it is cooled down. So that's how I do it. That's a little trick to make it last the full three days in the refrigerator. And that is about as long as things last in the bird room because there's a lot of birds to feed. They go through it so, so quick. So I'm gonna do Christine's Nuts and Spice flavor blend. Have a sniff. Do you smell that? Oh my gosh, it has Ceylon cinnamon, the most purest of all cinnamons. Regular cinnamon is not safe for your parrots. It can have toxic things in it. Ginger, almonds, walnuts, and pistachios. Isn't that amazing? So it smells mm, so good. So we're gonna add that. Glad you could smell it. Look at that. And I love how she sticks pistachios in there because then your birds get a crunch. Isn't that insane? It's so cool. And then another thing, I'm just like taking it another level. So you don't need to do this, but you can. I'm gonna add her sprouted blend. So it's already sprouted and it's ready to go. You can soak it, you know, whatever you want. If your birds like to eat it soft, I'm just gonna add it like this because it's gonna soften because everything's so moist. So we're just putting that in there. We're gonna mix it. Looks so good. It smells so good, okay. All right, so the second part is gonna add it in there. Oh, do you see how it's coming together? So now we're gonna add 
our quinoa in there as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a little bit more of our sprouted blend. If you don't have this, you can add chia seeds, hemp seeds, you know, whatever you have. Remember, don't go too crazy on the chia and the hemp because they're a good fat, but they're still fat. So, so this is just, boy, your birds, it's just a little bit of everything in there. This is what you call a balanced diet. And in the morning, my birds have fresh veggies and fruit. And then during the day when I go to work, they have pellets because pellets can stay in their cage for a long amount for a while and it doesn't grow bacteria. And then at night, I serve them a hot meal and this cannot sit out more than two hours. And especially if you live somewhere where it's super hot, you really wanna be careful with that because it will grow bacteria and make your birdie sick. So make sure you take it out of their cages once they're finished and wipe their cages down really well because you don't want any of this sticking to their purchase because it's gonna grow icky little things on it and make your birds possibly sick. I don't know, just keep it clean. Keep it clean, it's easy to keep it clean, Pete. 